All right, welcome back. So there's some information in the Inflation Reduction Act that was recently passed that I want to highlight today. There'll be some more pieces of this puzzle that will be coming out, so this is not intended to be all-inclusive, but we want to talk about the residential energy efficient improvements and the credits related to those types of activities. So over the course of time, the residential energy efficient improvements have changed and morphed depending upon the tax year. They were originally put in place and they had dates and time certain in which they expired. That expiration date essentially then rolled forward when the legislation came into play that extended that tax credit. And so at the end of 2021, the tax credit went away. They reinstated that tax credit and there's some significant changes that may affect the timing in which you want to make those home improvements. Let's first talk about the energy credit and those costs that qualify for the residential energy efficient improvements. Those will be exterior windows, exterior doors, skylights, perhaps roofs, insulation, your electric and natural gas heat pumps, your central air conditioning, and some hot water heaters. So those are the kinds of properties, if you're thinking about those improvements that you want to key into and go, hmm, maybe I need to do some more research on these things and decide if 2022 is the time to put that in or 2023 or later is a better time to put that in. The old law as it existed was basically 10% of the cost of that improvement. And there were limitations within the cost of those improvements based upon the category of the improvement. The old law limited your total credit for your lifetime to be $500. So that was a credit that may very well have been used up in prior tax years and it no longer applies to you. Going forward, that credit has now been replaced with a $1,200 annual limit and it's going to be 30 percent of the costs of those eligible home improvements. It's a fairly significant change and is going to affect a lot of the taxpayers and I want you to be aware of it so you can plan the timing of those home improvements and also make sure that you upgrade those home improvements to property that qualifies so that you can maximize your tax credits. Some of the limitations that you'll be aware of, this information is gonna come out in more detail as 2023 comes about. $250 for an exterior door, a cap of $500 for all exterior doors, $600 cap of all exterior windows. So let's do the math. If I have $3,000 worth of windows that I'm putting in and they qualify for the energy credit, 30% of that $900 would be my potential credit, but my credit will be capped at $600. And then the heat pumps, hot water heaters, up to $2,000 for those in the credit. Those limitations and amounts go into effect January 1st of 2023 and end December 31st, 2027. So between 2023 and 27, is when you'll want to be investing and making those energy efficient home improvements so you can maximize that $1,200 credit. You can get more information at energystar.gov. They've been a consistent resource to provide what qualifies for windows, what qualifies for doors, what qualifies for HVACs, hot water heaters, etc. You can find that in the link there. You can also go to irs.gov and you can get the instructions for Form 5695. Now, that's not been updated for the new law changes at this point, but those changes, you can look at the old law and how it applied and how those credits were calculated and what was limited inside that form and those instructions. Hope you find that helpful and look forward to increasing the energy efficiency of your home at the same time, taking advantage of the tax credits that the government is offering.